beautiful people. <laughs> Somebody told me to stop singing my intro, so that's what I think of that. <laughs> no, but on a serious note, if my intro does annoy anyone, please just skip it. <laughs> I'm not going to stop doing it. People shout at me when I stop, so if you don't like it, please just skip it. Um, it is just what it is. <laughs> Today we're doing a full reveal of the Revolution Christmas collection. So this one is called Ultimate Lights this year. If you have any questions about what makeup I have on, by the way, it was yesterday's video when I reviewed the Revolution and Plastic Boy Gary Thompson collection using the palette, the lip kit, the primer, um, and I also swatched the highlighter as well because it's a little bit too dark for my complexion. But yeah, that is everything that is on my face. And if you wonder what mascara I have on, because honestly, obsessed with this mascara. It's the Revolution Game of Thrones one. Honestly, unbelievable, unbelievable. So yeah, anyway, let's get into this collection. So I'm gonna be doing a reveal today and then tomorrow I'm gonna to review a few products from the collection. Hello, by the way, I am Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new, please don't forget to hit subscribe, give this video <laughs> a thumbs up because it really helps up my channel and turn that notification bell on because I'm uploading all the damn time recently. It is normally Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, but this week I'm uploading every single day this week. So let's just get straight into it. So like I said, this is the Ultimate Light Revolution collection. There's a lot of eyeshadow palettes in this collection. We have four of these which are like the ultimate light like a little feathered collection we have like feathered nude feathered pinks feathered smoke feathered jewels so i'll go through them in a second but then we also have which is quite like a common one like this kind of vibe packaging I've, mine's a bit dirty yeah sorry <laughs> let me just take this off so it looks less dirty as you can tell i've had my grubby hands all over it so we also have like the bigger palette in the collection like i said i'll go through all these properly in a sec Yes, yeah, so that's five eyeshadow palettes in the collection. So my thought process is tomorrow I'm going to do a review video and the eyeshadow palette I'm going to do tomorrow is going to be this one. And then if you want me to, please let me know if you want me to do a video on these four separately. I've went through them. I'm going to show you them now and I'll explain my thought process with this because this has really hurt my head working out what on earth I'm going to do review wise for this because I'm only one person and I haven't got enough time. So basically we have the Ultimate Light Feathered Jewels, which is this one here, this one. Oh, I cannot wait to put on my eyeballs. This one is beautiful. So this is just what it looks like. The shimmers in here look like that foily one, you know, from the... Um, full face testing new revolution video that I did and I tested a palette that was like this but it was like a different color scheme oh my god they look the same formula if they are I'm going to die because it's it's just perfection like absolute perfection so there that is that one so all of these ones retail for six pound nine dollars seven ninety nine euros or twelve Australian dollars the next one that we have is feathered smoke which is this one here this one you really you can't get because there's only two mattes in here you can't get like a full eyeshadow look from this but there's definitely some like foily shades in here and there's definitely some like of that glitter formula that we've been seeing a lot recently and uh, like in the halloween collection for instance i think there was one was it the cosmic trip one maybe there was another palette recently that i did and that had the same like really really beautiful glitter in it yeah it definitely was the cosmic trip one so yeah this is just what it looks like so it definitely feels i'm gonna have to put my finger in it yeah, see that one? Oh, that one's beautiful. Oh, that's stunning. And the black looks like it's that sparkling formula as well. Let's pick a little bit more up. Oh my God. And then that's just what they look like kind of swatched. So in this one, there's literally just like that one and this one that are matte in there. So I couldn't do a full eye look with that palette. So that one was that one. And then moving on to the next one, this one, oh my God, the shimmers in here. Oh, they look stunning. This is the Feathered Light one. And again, it's very shimmer heavy. There's only technically two mattes in here and they're not like enough of a matte for me to get a full like look out of. So this is what it looks like. I'm sorry, look at these shimmers. Oh, I'm gonna have to put my finger in it. I'm gonna have to. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, that is perfection. Like absolute. Oh wow, perfection. So even though some of these palettes aren't going to be palettes that you can get a full eye look out of, they might be palettes that you want because you want to like build your shimmer collection to like use it alongside another palette because look, look at them. I'm sorry. 
And I've just done like a little light swatch of them for there. Oh my God. So again, I couldn't really do like a full look out of that one. It'd be more of like a palette that I would use like alongside another palette. But this last one, if you are a nude eyeshadow gal, you're gonna want this one, I'm really sorry. And um, this is Feathered Nude. This is just what it looks like. And then when you open her up, this is it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but look at them shimmers. I'm obsessed. And you could definitely get like a full eye look out of this one. That's what it looks like. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't with this. Like, I honestly, I'm sick of me saying I can't cope. <laughs> but I actually can't. So, yeah, what I was thinking with these four palettes is I can do, obviously, a full look out of this nude one and I can do a full look out of the green one. So, if you want me to, I can do a video doing one eye with one, one eye with the other. But in that video, I will um, maybe, like, swatch these or show these up close up because I cannot do a full eye look out of just one of these palettes. And I can't do a full eye look out of the two palettes combined either. It doesn't go with the mattes that are in there. But I really want to do a video on these. So let me know if you want me to just do a video on all four. But I'll just do these two on my actual eyes. And I'll just like maybe swatch these or something. Please let me know. Because I definitely cannot do an eye lock with them two by themselves. But yeah, let me know. Because if you are a shim shim kind of gal, you are going to want them. You are going to want them. Yeah, £6. Amazing. In the collection as well, there's also two nail toppers. There's a pink fizz and a lilac martini one. These retail for £4, $5, 2 99 euros or 8 Australian dollars. But obviously I get my gels done, so I didn't want to order them because it would just be waste film, so I didn't get them. Um, and there's also a perfume that hasn't come yet. This is the Ultimate Lights perfume. And this retails for the same price as the normal perfumes do, so £10, $15, 10 euros or 20 Australian dollars. So I'm not too sure what that smells like because it hasn't came yet. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get this video up for you as soon as possible. And then let's go back to the rest of the collection that I have. So going to this big palette, can you remember about, was it two years ago now? Yeah, because I think it was the Soft Glamour collection last year. So about two years ago, Revolution did like a Christmas collection and they had like a, I think it was like a rose gold and then there was like a silver palette and it had kind of similar packaging to this, just a different design on it. And I did a video on them, I bought them, it was way before I uh, even worked for Revolution. Did a video on them, bought them and the formula in them palettes blew my socks off so i'm so excited to try this i really hope it doesn't let me down like i'm getting excited um but yeah it has the big palette on the top and then this is what oh, this is what it looks like so in here we have one two three four five six seven eight eight different mattes in here and then the rest are all shim shims so i am honestly so unbelievably pumped to do a look with this oh I can't wait. Honestly, cannot wait. I really hope that it doesn't let me down because the shimmers that were in the one that was like two years ago, it was totally different like colour story, but the shimmers, oh my god, beautiful. So this palette retails for £10, $12, €10.99 or twenty Australian dollars. And obviously this is just the ultimate light palette, that's what it's called. We also have a cheek glow highlighter palette, which is like a really big palette. So it has four shades inside here. It's just called Feather Lights Cheek Glow Palette. And this retails for £6, $8, 6 99 euros or 12 Australian dollars. And then this is what it looks like up close. Should we swatch it? Should we be naughty before I test it tomorrow? Oh, that one was really soft to put my finger in. Oh, wow. Okay, the gold is like, um, like squishy, like a little bit squishy. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Ooh, okay. So the gold is squishy, but it's got a lot of payoff with it still. Okay. Wow. It kind of reminds me a bit of that formula in the Clueless um, Forever Flawless palette, but obviously like a highlighter version. Okay, and then the that one's stunning. That one's like a powder. It's just the gold one that has that kind of like um putty, like slightly putter, putter, putty texture to it. But it swatches like beautifully. Doesn't impact how it swatches or anything. And then if you can see, yeah, you can definitely see all four there. Oh, beautiful. Cannot wait to get that on my cheeks. Next up, we have lip contour kits, but shimmery ones. So these are called the Ultimate Light Shimmer Light Lip Kit. And we have 
Chauffeur Light and then Pink Light. These retail for £6, $8, €6.99 and then 12 Australian dollars. So the same price as the highlighter palette. There's on the, on the side of it Shimmer Finish, Lip Illuminator, High Shine Gloss. So you get a lip gloss and a lip liner inside here, which obviously normally with a lip kit you get a matte liquid lipstick and a lip liner. So this is what Chauffeur like looks like. Oh my god, I love the packaging. Then we have like an actual like pen, like pencil eyeliner. I don't know if it makes any sense. Ooh, that is pretty. That is a really nice shade. And then we have like the lip gloss, which is like in this sparkly packaging. And then the lip gloss itself is actually like got shimmer particles in it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Can you see that? I don't think my light, you can kind of see it. It's a bit hard for my camera and my light to pick up, but you can see it in person. Like it has like straight up like shimmer inside it. So it's definitely like, don't look at this because it doesn't look like this. Um, don't want people thinking that they're going to get like a full on like sparkly, like full on glitter lip with them. It's definitely a lot more wearable. So that's that one. And then obviously we have pink lights, which I have already swatched these again because you know what I'm like. It's a lip product. I can't help myself. I have to do a little swatchery when the products come. So this one is definitely more like brighter pinky vibe. Out of the two, this would be the one that I would actually get my use out of. This one would be, wouldn't really be one that I would reach for as often. Because you can see the pink is quite like a bubblegummy pink colour. And then look at the packaging. Oh, the gloss, I'd probably get more use out of than I would the actual lip liner. God, the gloss is beautiful. Doesn't really, doesn't smell of anything. I can't smell anything anyway. And then that is what the gloss looks like. So I would definitely get my use out of the gloss more than I would the lip liner. I wish that you could see the shimmer in person, like through the camera, but it's just not coming up as what it does in person. Is that any better? Or oh, you can kind of see it a bit there, can't you? But my camera tries to focus on something in the background, does my head in. <laughs> so yeah, that is the lip kits. We have two of them. And then last but not least, we have four eyeliners. So these are called, these are the Ultimate Light Chromatic Liners and we have Gold Gleam, Shimmer Flash, Teal Bling and Lilac Luster. And that is just what they look like up close. So as you can tell like the sparkly lip gloss, um, lip glosses, sparkly eyeliners. And then that's what the actual applicator looks like. So I do like a little, am I in focus? Maybe do like a little swatch. I don't think yeah, I was even in focus, sorry. There we go, you can see it. There, I've already swatched it once because I got a bit excited. <laughs> so that one is obviously Lilac Luster. Then we have Silver Flash. I can't believe I've taken the plastic off. So I'm just ripping it off like that. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Let's see what this one is like. Ooh, okay. Wow, okay, that's really pretty. I quite like the applicator. I feel like you'd have quite a lot of precision with it. Next up we have Teal Bling, which looks stunning. I'm really hoping I can use one of these in my look tomorrow. Hope I push myself to use one. Let's try this one, little swatch room. Ooh, that's beautiful as well. Ooh, I don't know how I'm gonna use these. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And then next up, well, last up we have Gold Gleam. So this this one. Let's do a little swatch room. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. Okay, that's beautiful. Do you know what you could use that first one, that lilac one for? Like a, just like a little, it's like how people use the double set W7 ones um, and they use it as like an actual like eyeshadow itself instead of using it as an eyeliner. I think you could definitely do that with that lilac one because it is like sheer enough where it would work really, really well. Wow. Okay. Okay. Hopefully I'll push myself and try them um, for tomorrow's video. So yeah, I would love to know what you think of the collection. Is there anything that you are definitely going to want to pick up? Are you waiting for my reviews? Let me know what you think. So obviously tomorrow, in tomorrow's video, I'm going to test the big palette, the highlighter palette. We'll try and test one of the eyeliners and I'll also test the lip kit as well. I'll probably do both lip kits in one um, in tomorrow's video. But please let me know whether you want me to do a video where I'm going to test two of these on my eyes and then I'll obviously just swatch the other two um, just so that it's all included in one video. But please let me know because I have, oh my God, I have so many videos <laughs> that I want to get filmed for you. So only request it if like you are desperate to see it because there might be a more exciting video that I can fill that like slop with instead. I've still got so many more videos. I'm just looking at my schedule. I've still got so many more videos that I want to get up for you. I want to test 
I have filmed myself testing the Grinch advent calendar and the gift sets, but only one of the gift sets is on Revolution's website right now, so I have to wait for the other one to go on there um, before I can actually do my review on it. Um, it's kind of part of my thing. If I get anything through work, I can only promote it if it's actually gone onto work's website, like it's officially launched. So I have already filmed that, but I need to get that up when obviously that goes live. Like I've got the Game of Thrones advent calendar. I want to test that. I want to test the Game of Thrones other gift set that has like the three palettes in with the three lipsticks. I want to test the Ultimate Glamour 12 day advent calendar um, that I did a video on because it looked unbelievable and he's all asking me to do that as well. So I definitely want to do that. Um, I also need to do an unboxing of the main Revolution Advent Calendar. Uh, yeah, there's absolutely loads. I'll definitely probably end up wanting to test that one as well. Yeah, there's just so many. And I haven't even got into like proper gift sets yet. I've got all of the gift sets. I've got Relove. I, yeah, it's just wild. <laughs> it's absolutely wild. So if there's a video that you do like really, really desperately want, please let me know but if it's something that you're like actually I'm not really that bothered about it would be nice to see but I'm not that bothered there's more things other things that I'd rather you do then please don't request it because <laughs> I'll prioritize the other things that you've already asked for over that if that makes any sense so yeah I'm sorry I know I'm blabbering on um but I just wanted to say thank you so much because I'm just like checking my YouTube now and we've grew like over 100 people this week alone and like that's just not normal for my YouTube at all I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for the views. I'm so thankful for the, for the comments. I'm just spot everywhere. Um, I'm so thankful for the comments. They really, really, really make my day. Um, yeah, they just really, really make me feel good. <laughs> so thank you so much. And who knows? This is like making me feel like maybe one day this could become a part-time job for me, maybe. And yeah, that is just a dream that happens. That is absolutely a dream come true. So... Yeah, thank you. And I'll hopefully see you tomorrow for my review on all of this. Thank you for listening to me blab. <laughs> um, please put a comment down below and let me know if you did listen to me blab on at the end, because then I know that you're hardcore watching to the end. But yeah, thank you so much. Thank you to my patrons for being so loving and supportive. If you'd like to join my Patreon community, it's all linked down below. But yeah, love you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. That means you know, oh, my hair needs washing so bad. Dirty. She's a dirty pig. <laughs>